friends, this is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today for Yarn Stash Enhancer number 26. In this episode, I share with you guys anything that I purchase, whether it be yarn or tools that I add to my um, yarn fiber stash, or anything that was gifted to me, or anything that I won, or anything like that. Along those lines, that's yarny related. So I have... Um, couple things to show with you share with you so I went on another Hobby Lobby trip and um, I was doing really good with not purchasing any yarn but this time I had a purpose I had a list um, and I'll get into that here in a minute but I also won a prize from um, Kim from the crafty nomad um, I did her Christmas in July uh, gnome challenge and I won a prize so, and I just received that in the mail, so I'm very excited about that. So, I'm going to share with you guys what's in that package. I already opened it up and looked through it, okay? So, inside, first of all, is this, um, Sipsy? Sipsby? Sipsby? Something like that. Um, these little tea subscriptions that you can get. Now, I've been eyeballing it for a while now. Never decided to sign up or anything, but um, I I I like tea. Hot tea is really my my jam, and so I was really excited when I saw that this was in there. So um, Kim sent me her June tea box. So I'm so excited. Um, I was already looking through it. Um, haven't used anything out of it yet. I've been resistant. Um, so inside it's for, so it's, it's, it's a June box. So inside are four of these. This is peach and passion fruit, Ahmad tea. So I'm very excited to try that. Never had that. There is some... Um, Earl Grey, Oolong Earl Grey. Uh, there is some loose leaf white rose. Uh, that sounds fancy. I'm going to try that. And then there's this um, raspberry lemonade. raspberry lemonade right there so and then there was also some of these empty tea bags to put your loose leaf tea in inside this little pouch so I'm very excited about this and um, this is me last minute recording this video or else I would have made some because I recorded an episode earlier I'm not sure when you're going to see this video, but, um, cause I still have a yarn stash enhancer that I haven't posted yet as of when I'm recording this, hopefully by the time you guys see this, that last yarn stash enhancer has already been posted, but I'll get a little ahead of myself, but that's okay. I'm trying to just do what I can when I can. So that was in that box. And then also inside is some yarny goodness. There are two cakes of this Big Twist Winter. Um, that's cute. This is red, green, white, solid stripe. Uh, 175 yards each, 100% acrylic, uh, five bulky. So there's two cakes of that. And then there is a cake. This is also Big Twist. So it just doesn't have a label. So there's some of that with the gold. I forget the name of it. I think I have a cake of this too, but it has the, the gold metallic running through that. And then she put in some of this stuff that I can't read. But it's, it's acrylic yarn because that's on there. But I can't read much else. Black, acrylic, yarn, medium, fine. Uh, 
40 grams. So there's black and then there's off-white and both of those. That is not a acrylic yarn medium fine. I don't know what that means, but they're cute. I like them. They're, they're nice and soft too. They're usable. Definitely. And then a skein of this 100% recycled cotton. That's a really pretty color too. Um, I also can't shell pink. It's really pretty, but there's the label on that. This is really pretty color too. Oh, here we go. Hundred percent cotton. Fifty grams. That's really pretty. So those were in there. Also in the box. is this book Christmas crochet for hearth home and tree stockings ornaments garlands and more and I was already looking for this I didn't have my stickies nearby or else I'd be flagging some things just saying so tons of cute things in there there's everything in here everything is in there love it love it love it adding that to my pattern collection and then this inside here, by the way, I, it's in a sheen bag and I like sheen. So, the same. It's a project bag. Oh, look how thick and cute that is. I just love it. It has a handle. Inside, it has ho 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 fabric. And then. Kim's label. Oh, I just love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this. This is so thick and adorable. So that was an awesome prize. I loved it. Very Christmassy, very festive. Like, it's perfect. I'm not even put that in the bag because I'm going to put that on my cart to put a pro find a project to put in it. So, love, love, loved that prize. Thank you so much, Kim. I enjoyed that make-along I don't enter a lot of make-alongs um, because I have a lot of stuff going on and I'm not very good at finishing them I can't even finish my own half the time um, but I enjoyed that one so thank you for doing that now my trip to Hobby Lobby again two weekend not two no my last yarn session answer I wasn't at Hobby Lobby or did I have Hobby Lobby yarn from weeks prior? I've been to Hobby Lobby quite a bit in the past month, month and a half. So I can't keep it all straight, but I come home with stuff. Just saying. So I don't know what trip, what was on the last yarn stash enhancer, because I can't remember. But I went for a reason. I want to make the Friends... Grafgan blanket um, by Chaos and Chop Suey. It's a paper pattern on Etsy. I purchased it, not Etsy, Ravelry. I purchased it a while ago with the intent to make it. Um, and I said in the past videos that I didn't get to make something for my local fair. That was at the beginning of August. Yeah, August. Because I missed the deadline date and I didn't realize it. That's okay. So I'm going to try for next year. So I better get started, right? Yes. I decided I'm going to make the Friends Grafgan Blanket. Um, and in the pattern, she uses I Love This Yarn. And she lists everything in I Love This Yarn that she uses. And then she also lists the alternatives if you're going to use Red Heart or other yarns. I can't remember the other one that she lists. But I was like... Perfect. That gives me a shopping list because I want to use I Love This Yarn too. And I'm trying to increase my yarn, I Love This Yarn stash because I like having the option of having many colors to go to. 
And for those that follow me for a while know that my um, Karen Simply Soft, Simply Soft stash is, um, I have quite a bit, I have pretty much every color and multiple skeins. Um, I haven't been using it that much lately, but I'm slowly working through it. But I want to increase my I Love This Yarn stash. So this would be a good blanket to do that because I've been trying not to buy things unless it's for a project. It's not always successful, but this trip I had a list. And I stuck to it. They only didn't have one color. I needed the I Love This Yarn and Toasted Almond, I think. And they didn't have that. So, um, but on her thing, on her list, it said I can use uh, Red Heart Buff, which I have that. So that should work. Um, so yeah, and there was two colors. I think it was a yellow because I have quite a bit left over from my duck amigurumi that I did and soft pink and I think I have a skein of soft pink as well too in my stash so I didn't get those see I'm using for my stash so my own mm -hmm. um but I did get the other colors that I need so what I bought was for two squares and one is the couch from friends and the other one I believe is the turkey when they have the tur she has a turkey on her head with the glasses that's square two I think so I bought the yarn for two squares and that's my plan is to get two squares started on, get rocking and rolling on those. And then, um, I will have, um, once I'm done with those, I will look at the list for the next two squares and go from there. So I haven't quite figured out the math that I needed to do to have everything done in time because I still need to assemble the blocks and I'm probably going to have to block it. Um, and you know put the perfections on it so I want to give myself quite a few weeks I probably want to have it done at the beginning of June and that way if I need to tweak anything I think if I do two squares a month I, I think there's 14 squares so that should give me plenty of time so if I don't get two squares done a month I should be okay but I need to work out the math of what I need to do per month so I need to sit down and do that but I got the supplies for the first two um, so I got some, I love this yarn, all of it. It's, I love this yarn. Um, this is the colorway terracotta. I do have some of this, but I didn't know how much I had. I'm using it for my red panda. Um, but I didn't know how much I had. So I got some because the couch is pretty large and I'm not sure which part of the couch this is on. So I want to make sure I had enough. Um, 355 yards, hundred percent acrylic for medium. And this is terracotta. Got one of those. Um, I got this one, which I would never buy for no reason. Um, this is Desert Glaze. I got this one. This is Burnt Pumpkin. One of those. This one is Sun Gold. These are like really pretty fall colors, just so you know. <laughs> for anybody that's looking for some fall colors there you go Here, here's some more uh, this is cranberry uh, brown um, rosy cheeks I think I have some of this too but I don't think I have much either I couldn't remember so I got it just in case because I couldn't remember and some white so those ones there, and let me show you these fall colors again because I added those, that red and brown. So if you're interested in looking for fall color projects, this would be, these would be pretty colors. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Not to instigate or nothing. There you go. Throw in some white with that too. Off white, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now, I did get two other skates but I said in my video when I was talking about it I had when I announced the attack of the Amigurumi 2022 for September um we're doing sloths but when I was at Hobby Lobby I was thinking koalas so I bought yarn for a koala but we're not doing koalas we're doing sloths I guess this could be a sloth I don't know do you think um this is I love this yarn tweed uh, gray confetti, 252 yards, 
90% acrylic, 8% viscose. That's the tweed part. Four medium on it. Four medium, yeah. And it's got these bright colored tweed bits in it. And I thought that would look so cute on a koala. So. They still would be. But. I'm not making a koala. I'm making a sloth. So now I gotta go through and find the yarn for a sloth in my stash, which I'm pretty sure I have yarn for a sloth in my stash, more than likely. But yeah, that's my shopping haul. I stuck to my list. I was super proud of myself. I went in with a, the list of the yarn that I needed and I stuck to it. Um, so yeah, super proud of myself. Now I gotta get started on the blanket and I'm not sure when this video is gonna get posted. I may have already started on the friend's blanket. I'm not sure. So, like I said, I got some things happening soon and um, I'm gonna be busy. So, I'm, but I do need to sit down and work out the math for when I need, what I need to do every month to get done on time. So, but it's plenty of time for 14 squares. I think it's 14, it might be 12. I don't remember. And then I didn't grab the pattern. I have some of it printed, but it's a very large pattern. Lots of details. I love it. Um, but I didn't print out the graph part because that's a lot of color ink. So, and that one would be best printed on color ink, not black and white. Um, so I'm using my Knit Companion for the graph part. So when I'm actually working, I'll be using Knit Companion. So other than that, that's all I have to share with you guys. <sighs> Hopefully... This should be it until I get the yarn for the next two squares. But that should be it for now as far as yarn purchases. Hopefully. So, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And remember to keep that yarn going through those fingers. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.